Yeah, I bet you can't guess what we're talking about right now. Yes, of course, it's the Post Office Horizon scandal. Still top of the list, uh, very much in the inbox of the Prime Minister, the Chancellor and everyone else besides, including uh, many people who signed that petition to try and get the CB back uh, from the former Chief Executive of the Post Office, who was in charge a lot of the times when these stories came out where we saw more than 700 sub-postmasters and sub-postmistresses wrongly convicted of basically embezzling, defrauding, stealing money from their post office when they hadn't done it at all. It was all the fault of a faulty Horizon computer. Oh, yeah, and everyone kind of knew that already. Well, joining me now to run through this and all of the other top stories is Tom Slater. He's editor of Spiked Online. Good morning to Good morning. you. Um, I'm sure you are as stunned as I am um, that this story is still going. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot of criticism that, you know, government ministers haven't tackled this, the post office hasn't tackled it, the courts haven't tackled it enough, the newspapers, the media. Um, Harry Cole uh, of The Sun uh, has pointed out, that actually, people have been writing about this in newspapers. The Times actually takes the credit for the most articles mm -hmm. for the last 15 years. Um, I didn't cover this on my show until, I think, around 2020. Um, I was quite late to the party, and I... I'm, party, I don't mean that to be clear, but just a phrase. Um, and I remember saying at the time, I, I feel ashamed for not having covered this before. Mm -hmm. It's a complicated story. It didn't move on for many years. And, and, um, and there's a lot of criticism, I think, of you know, a lot of different people involved. But the thing I think most people are stunned by is the fact that, you know, suddenly there's going to be action. There are government meetings right now, uh, meetings with judges, meet, you know, ju judiciary, and like, to try and speed up the exoneration of all these wrongly convicted uh, uh, branch managers of post offices and also to provide compensation. when simply because there's an ITV uh, for, um, and it's a mm -hmm. four-part series and, and I've watched it and it is superb and it really brings it home, you know, Mr Bates versus the post office. But should, should compensation, should making good on a real horrible, horrible miscarriage of justice, people's lives ruined, four people committed suicide as a result of this, people's reputations, finances, marriages ruined, um, health, um, should that only happen? because people get angry when they see a, do a, a, a TV series on ITV. Why didn't government ministers act sooner? I think it's absolutely outrageous, because it's not as if we could say, well, politics has been really preoccupied with Brexit and various other things over the past few years. We've had the pandemic, we've had Ukraine. This is a story that goes back almost 25 years now. And yet, government after government, administration after administration yeah. has just sort of ignored it. The facts on the ground, as you say, haven't really changed. Obviously, there's been the legal cases, the legal victories, which have paved the way for what we've and, seen today. And in that ITV show, I mean, there were no new facts in that. I mean, mm -hmm. we knew for most of us, not knowing you know, how, how many meetings there were with the board and this and that, but, but, but there was not, nothing new for the people in charge mm -hmm. who had the power to, to make good. No, exactly. And I think whilst, you know, doesn't take much for me to want to beat up on the mainstream media sometimes. But the fact that this has been a story which has been covered pretty extensively, there's been some great crusading journalists who've really picked up this story and ran with it. I think it's been a failure of our politics primarily. You can yep. understand why the government, because of the fact that they've been in power for so long, they're heavily implicated in it in one form or another. Yeah, I mean, basically, even if you weren't responsible for it happening, mm -hmm. you, you, you could have taken action mm. sooner. It, it's dreadful that they feel compelled to ignore it, but that is the nature of the incentives, I suppose. The fact that the opposition has never picked this up and ran with it to the extent that they should yeah. have, because that would be the thing that would change things. That would be the thing that should make it front page news, because the government would put under pressure real um, questions to answer and so on. But it took an ITV drama, and it, I think it does speak to how often trivial our kind of political discussions are. Yeah and how preoccupied with silly things. Well, you know, yeah, parties. let's let's have a debate about, um, you know, some, you know, I don't know, just some, some tributes to someone or something, yeah. as opposed to debating, you know, people wrongly convicted, some of the people in prison, people who committed suicide mm -hmm. because they've been falsely accused of this crime. A question we asked on the show yesterday was, you know, who do you blame, you know, and why? You know, and what do you want done now? Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people were saying, and I think quite rightly, you know, Fujitsu, this mm -hmm. comes back, they're the people who made the computer. Um, uh, and, and they and they all the evidence is emerging. They, you know, it was faulty, and they knew it was faulty, mm -hmm. and nothing was done about it for a long time. And they allowed these prosecutions to go ahead. And then, of course, people at the post office, the yeah. people, people they, they, again, they absolutely knew uh, that people were being falsely convicted, um, and they were really vindictive as well towards people who who were sort of you know trying to bring this to the public eye. Uh, but then again, a failure of government to tackle this, failure of the Crown Prosecution Service. You know, mm -hmm. suddenly. You know, suddenly there are these huge number of of, of uh, cases being brought. I mean, did the post office just suddenly have a, have a hiring? All these people who'd worked for them for twenty years were suddenly turning into criminals. I mean, come on! Mm -hmm. it, even just looking at the the jump in the prosecutions would surely 
statistically would have gone, hold on a minute, something's wrong. In the same way as, you know, in a hospital, they should go, hold on a minute, more people are dying when this man is operating. Mm -hmm. You know, let's let's look into whether or not something, there's something going wrong. Um, so they're, they're, everyone's passing, you know, passing the blame around, lots of different people. And of course, that more than a million people signing that petition for uh, the uh, the chief executive at the time, uh, Paul at Venels, to be stripped for a CBE. And that can look a bit like, sort of, you know, bits as being vindictive, but, mm -hmm. you know, she was in charge. She knew what was going on. If she didn't know what's going on, she shouldn't have a CBE because she didn't know what she was doing. Mm -hmm. If she did know, she shouldn't have that CBE because what she did was appalling. But the question I'm asking today is about the timing of all of this. So we're asking, why do you think it takes an ITV drama about the post office scandal uh, for this to actually, you know, for this to actually happen, for anyone to actually pay attention, uh, for our politicians to actually act. Uh, I do want to hear from you. You can give us a call on 0344 499 1000. You can text on 8722 or you can get in touch on X at Talk TV. Calls are charged at the national rate. Text costs one standard network rate message. Um, before we get to your messages on that, um, why do you think it is, Tom? Why, why do you think that this is happening now? Is it, is it an election year? Is it... Is it because, you know, people are talking about it? More people understand the, I suppose, the personal impact of this? Maybe that's part of it. I mean, I suppose that's the sort of generous interpretation is that it takes an ITV drama to um, make people realise how serious this is. But I think it's just another example of how our politicians are increasingly distracted from what is their primary responsibility, which is to look after their constituents. Mm. I mean, this was being raised with them for decades, effectively, and far fewer of them seem to actually take this up actively. And I think it also just speaks to what priorities, I suppose, the, um, because an issue isn't the political issue of the day, yeah. it's not the thing making headlines, it's not the thing that one can create a political career over. It fell largely to backbenchers and people who and, weren't and really involved in And some of them, I have to say, now, you know, John Lord Arbosner, I mean, all, mm -hmm. all credit to these people for pushing it. Exactly. I mean, David Davis mm -hmm. and uh, Labour MPs as well uh, pushing this. I mean, it, it, lots of MPs were doing some really good work, but mm -hmm. again, nothing was happening. Nothing was happening. But I, what's depressing is the fact that we've seen this story repeated in other scandals. Yeah. If you think about the contaminated blood scandal, which I think you've already referenced. Again, it took decades for there to even be an inquiry, and let alone... And they knew. they knew. And that's the thing when you talk about blame. I mean, well, we can talk about Ed Davey, we could talk about various ministers mm. at the time, but the fact that both the post office and Fujitsu and the, the company that kind of preceded it, the fact that they developed this technology, it was originally supposed to be used for one thing, it failed at that, so they just repurposed it to use it for the accounts yeah. of the post office. They knew from day one that this yeah. was defective. And yet, as soon as, as you say, these mounting cases of alleged fraud and hand in the till started to mount up, they just said, oh, it's obviously just a systemic thieving problem. It's outrageous. You see it laid out in black and white in all yeah. the investigations of it. I don't know how they could live with themselves. I don't... This is, this is the thing for me, and I've had this, whether it's, you know, um, the hospital management covering up for, you know, Nurse Lucy mm -hmm. Letby when there were really obviously reasonable concerns, whether you're following, you know, you're, you're, you're covering up the, uh, the contaminated blood scandal, whether you're covering up any of the other uh, scandals we've seen, which are actually affect someone losing their life, Losing their health, mm -hmm. losing their livelihood, their reputation. And you know what? Reputation does matter. Being falsely accused and convicted of a crime like theft, when, you know, not being able to work with children, get another job, mm -hmm. you know, um, losing your, you know, the respect in the community, I mean, that has a massive impact on people. That's what I mean, four people took their lives. Marriages break up over this. Children's lives are destroyed over this. These are massive. How, and, and in cases of the hospital scandals, Babies dying, for God's mm -hmm. sake, and, and the national, you know, the contaminated blood scandal. Again, you know, thousands of people dying and having their lives ruined. How do the people who know what's going on? How do they sleep at night? How how do they go? Well, done my job again today. Pay, you know, paid my mortgage, had my dinner, watched a bit of telly, going to bed, and they lie on that pillow, and they are not haunted. Mm -hmm by the thought that there are people who, whose lives have been lost or ruined because of their failure to act. Because I think we've got a really big issue in this country, which is the, well, it wasn't me that prosecuted them. Or, well, it wasn't me that killed those babies. Well, it wasn't me that gave them the contaminated blood. It wasn't me that did that. So we, I'm not really guilty. We need to have more personal responsibility. We need to have more culpability. We need to have more corporate responsibility where, you know what, if you know of wrongdoing that causes people harm and you don't act, you are committing a criminal 
uh, act. You are committing a criminal offence and you need to be punished. I don't think taking away Paula Venels, the former chief exec, CBE, is enough. I think she needs to be prosecuted. I think these were, these were absolutely venal crimes against innocent people. Mm -hmm. And I think people, again, I think the people who covered up for you know, this you know, contaminated blood scandal or, or, or you know, and, and NHS trust scandals. People need to face prosecution. There needs to be a comeuppance to motivate people that you need to speak out. In the same way, you know, if you're a teacher or a social worker and you believe a child has been, you know, sexually abused or, or, or uh, physically abused, you, you have a duty of care to speak out. People, people need to know that not doing anything doesn't make it OK. And you have a duty of care to fellow human beings. No, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think there's always going to be a number of people who are willing to do horrendous things, mm. to cover up for horrendous failings, if it's kind of with, within their own self-interest to do so. That's just an unfortunate fact of life. The point is that you should have kind of structures to be able yeah. to monitor those people, to hold them to account, to give them a grilling. And what I think was particularly damning in all of this is the willingness of government to just believe everything that the post office was yeah. telling them to believe that there's this systemic problem, all of these sub-postmasters who have, you know, taken their life savings and invested it into this little franchise, yeah. this little business. They're obviously all on the take, willing to just completely buy all of this yeah. complete nonsense um, because of the fact that it at least meant that they didn't have another scandal arrive in their in trailer. Because could it's pass all it about the, the reputation of the post office, absolutely. That's, that's where the failure came down, the accountability, yeah, I think. Absolutely. Yeah.